your Fairlight shelter will come crated together, delivered directly to your home, curbside delivery only. Your shelter will arrive with all the hardware needed to complete the installation. Some tools you may need to provide, such as wrenches, drills, and impact drills. Once your shelter is delivered, we recommend that you uncrate the shelter, separate your panels, and begin with the corner pieces. As for the instructions, you'll start with a corner piece labeled B. You wanna make sure that the holes in the bottom are round and the holes in the top are slotted. Next, you'll join the A panel with the B panel by lining up the holes Put a washer on each side of the bolt. You want to leave them loosely tightened until all the bolts are in. You just hold it up. Yep, hold I got it. We're leaving the bolts loose because eventually, once we're all together, we're going to want to square the unit up before we secure it. Also, as a side note, I'd recommend turning all your bolts the same way it's no functionality it's just a little aesthetically pleasing next we're going to attach your second rear corner panel you'll notice the difference between front and rear panels as your rear panels will have a 90 degree bend in them with holes to connect the front panels will have a flat surface Corners with the flat surface on this side are going to be where you connect your door. So there is a difference between rear and front panels. Next you'll want to install the panel that has your escape hatch. This panel is not specific to either side. Whichever best fits your application depending on what corner of the wall you're in is what side you can put it on. On this shelter we're going to put it on the right side. Once the shelter is completely loosely bolted together, you want to square up your corners and start putting all your bolts back tight. You'll use a 19 millimeter socket and wrench to complete this task. Continue this all the way around the shelter. Next, we'll move to the front panel B. The front panel, again, will have a flat edge on it. This is where we'll bolt the front door to the shelter. Next, we'll put in our final corner piece. Remembering that the slotted holes are at the top and the flange holes are in the bottom. The slotted holes will be important to put the roof on. The next step is to install the door. The door is very heavy and requires two people to put in place. I recommend using a dolly to move it into the exact location that you want to and then standing it up. Thank you. 
inside. Yeah. Yeah. Once in place, you'll want to you'll want to start with just four bolts to hold it in place. I recommend you use the top and the bottom on each corner. The door flange will bolt to the outside of the existing structure, like so. I get you to hold this panel up real quick. When putting the door on, you want to remember that the door will go flush against the front of this panel. You'll see an edge here. Before installing the roof panels, you'll want to install these cage nuts that are provided in your hardware kit. The easiest way is to clamp them with a pair of needle nose pliers. And they'll go right into these holes. There's two clips on the bottom. Once these are squeezed together, they'll drop right into the pre-cut holes on your roof panel. putting the cage nuts in the roof panel, you'll lift them over the, over the structure and set them down following the frame of the building. panel will slide into place. You'll push your corners over. There's an edge down the middle with holes in it. Both of those will both of those will bolt together in the middle of the structure. The cage nut can be installed prior to you putting the roof panel on or after. These stay exposed so again they can go right in. your roof together and make it easier to square the unit. Again, once all your bolts are in loosely, you'll go in through and tighten them up. Next, we'll bolt the roof on using the cage nuts that you previously put in. You're going to want to hand start these. All right, once you've hand started the bolt, it's then okay to go ahead and tighten it up. Once you've got all your bolts tight and your shelter's ready to go, you'll continue on to the next step of anchoring it to the ground. You're going to be using a 3 8 by 3 and a half inch wedge style anchor bolt. You'll use a 3 8 masonry drill bit to drill a 2 and 3 quarter inch hole deep, then install your wedge anchors. These wedge anchors will need to be tightened to 25 foot pounds of torque. 